Today's feature match is brought to you by PerlerWrestling.com for camps, private team camps, and DVDs at Perler Wrestling. Here we go. Spencer Lee, number one, Nathan Tomasello. Tomasello, a three-time All-American, a national champion as a freshman, and now a senior, going up against a true freshman, Spencer Lee. You see Spencer Lee there. You know, the, the big question was, would the incoming freshman be able to deal with the power of the fifth-year senior, Tomasello? A lot of experience with Tomasello, but I think the one small technical advantage that Spencer Lee possesses in this match is he likes to work a lot off of that two-on-one to the lead arm on the shot of Tomasello. So you can see him finger clasping right there, that left arm. Keep those fingers clear, guys. Tomasello likes to shoot to the back leg. And he has a nice little swing single to the leg that has the knee pad on it. Whereas Spencer Lee will come over the top. Really work wrist control right there. If Lee can go ahead and stay it there, there's that sink single we talked about. He's get all the way to the hips. Is he going to able to finish? He comes around the waist. And that little reach around the waist was enough of a gap to be able to allow Lee to go ahead and square his hips and no takedown. Lee did something that not many do against uh, Thomas Elliott. When he's in on a deep single uh, like that, he usually finishes well. Very, very good in position, Thomas Elliott. That's why the little technical things, you know, that, that may work against some guys in the weight class won't work against Lee. He's very skilled. He's in a little shot of his own right there. Again, the battle I see is can Lee go ahead and tie up that left arm in this match? Now he's working the other side of the body. Right into that two on one. Tomasello did a nice job of creating head position and creating a little gap there to get out of that two on one. No, no backward steps by either guy, Tim. Both stepping into it. Spencer Lee, the true freshman out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania, Franklin Regional High School. A three time state champion, a two time junior world champion. The young Hawkeye stepping into it. Made his debut against Michigan State a couple of weeks ago. There's that, that two-on-one we talked about here. Doesn't quite have the head position. Tomasello's head is in decent position to block him off there, but you can see where, where Spencer Lee likes to be. And that's why he has a, just a little, slight little technical, natural technical advantage there for, for Lee. He likes to be in that position. I wouldn't say it's necessarily an advantage, but it's something to neutralize Tomasello. Tomasello back in the lineup for the Buckeyes after an injury that he suffered at the U23 World Championship team trials earlier in the There fall. it is. Yep. Again, Lee able to go ahead and control the lead arm on that shot. He's able to ward off the high crotch, which not many people do, against Tomasello. The number one. Ohio State Buckeyes, the number three Hawkeyes. We're just getting started at 125 pounds in Lee, at the Value City Arena. Lee has done a really nice job of holding position in the sec in the center of the mat. And that'll be the end of the Fingers first clear, period. Guys. And you'd have to say advantage Lee after that first uh, period there. Yeah. But Tomasello not unfamiliar with this position of a 0-0 first period. Well, I think Tomasello is, 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 is very patient. He likes to drift to the right and go ahead and set up that high crotch shot to his left or to his right with the left arm being the lead arm on that shot but that goes right into Lee's two on one good look at Tomasello there the national champion as a freshman third the last two years there's about four looks at Tomasello right there <laughs> nice little mat return there by Lee again you're just buying some little bit of time he's able to suck him back he got one count Got the hips a little extended. That was close. That was a good feel by uh, Tom Lee. Brandt. Tom Brandt says his hands on the brick, though, but he stuffs it underneath his chair. I think it was just a one count. Only get one challenge for the duel. Covering the fingers there. This is where I've been really impressed with Lee is in those mat returns. He does not give up anything easy. And just the same stuff that he does with the two-on-one where he hangs on that. He does the same thing when somebody's coming up to their feet. He hangs on them. Uh, he's got to be the probably the best rope climber in the wrestling room. The way he clings on guys, his, his, his biceps, he brings his whole upper body into that cling position. He does it with the mat returns as well. Well, he's had a tough ride, 37 seconds left, or ride tight. in the second period. Set. Take hold. 23 seconds away from Set. that minute of riding time that could loom so big. 
It's a no caution on Tomasello. Tomasello has been in big matches all throughout Set. his career. It's just never, it's never easy. A little sit and turn action there. A lot of hand fighting going on down below. He's able to go ahead and do a nice job of spreading out. See how Lee is going ahead and pushing that elbow forward. Now he's gonna come back into the head lever right there. Nice job of clearing out, covering the fingers, but then Lee is gonna go ahead and bring him back and he just never gives up anything on those mat returns. He doesn't have his hips there. He kept them close and was able to lift the return, Jim. But he just clings on a guy and sags on a guy and makes him carry weight all the way through the technique. And you're never quite away from him until you're 100% away. And this is what you wonder when you're a freshman. Can you ride when you need to in tight matches? He's just proven that. Yeah. Talking about Lee here in the second period. Well, he's put some pressure on Tomasello at the very least if he gets an escape. Nice sit out, turn in. Doing a pretty good job of fighting in hand control, coming up underneath with a tight waist ride. Now he's got him flat. Knees under you. Great job of making Tomasello carry his weight. This is an unexpected surprise, Tim, in this sequence, the match. He cannot count Tomasello out. He scored big points late in matches, but he's getting spread out here on that sit out and turn in. He's getting his hips a little far away. He's not committing to kind of enough back pressure to bowl back into him. Well, and how much does that take out of you when you get ridden like this? Lee going from side to side and uh, going to have an entire period ride out on the three-time All-American, Tomasello. Well, it, it, you, you don't have to go down. You've got choices. Today's Keys to the Meet are brought to you by Nebraska Wrestling Camps, the best team camps in the country. Jim, what are the keys? Well, you take a look at Iowa. You know, they've got to basically keep the momentum what they've established here. And they can't have any flat tires. They can't have anybody go out there and lay an egg. And for Ohio State, you know, They've got to go out here to put on a show, all right? Start fast and put on a show. We've got a lot of people you've asked to show up here at the Schottenstein Center here, all in white. You've got to get after them starting here with this match. And the show needs to be put on by Tomasello on his feet right now, trailing 1-0, but the riding time very much in favor of Spencer Lee, the true freshman out of Pennsylvania going up against the three-time All-American and national champion, Nathan Tomasello. And I think what he has to do to establish that is that you notice the, the left clear. leg is back. That's this favorite shot there of Tomasello. He's able to get to a leg. And lead. Well, Tomasello has seen this before here with the likes of Nico Megalutis and others where they split out like that. Tremendous explosion right there. When, you, when uh, Tomasello gets to the legs, he's in great shape. He usually finishes, and he didn't get it done in the first period, but that shape helps you execute in the third period, Jim. And he has to remain on the attack here because effectively Lee has the one-point lead with riding time. 59 seconds left in the bout, so likely that's not going to be broke. Now he's back on a high crotch again. It's going to be tough for Lee to stay out of, and he tries to kick out into that spread out position there. No points. points. You got that wizard. He's got that wizard locked on the shin and Tomasello coming all the way out to the front. Losing a lot of time. He's going to one arm it. He shelved it. Hand fighting there by Lee. Just trying to get that hand down and get it around to cover the hips. Going to go ahead and dive on it. Not going to get it. Short time. Inside. 20 seconds left in the match. Look at Lee battling here. Now he's going to square up. Advantage position for Lee now. He broke the grip. Now he's back in on a single leg shot. Going to look for something big. And Tremendous poise. Spencer Lee going to come out with the upset victory over the three-time All-American national champion, the true freshman, the winner at 125. The Hawkeyes start out with a big upset. Well, you mentioned it, Tim, the ride out in the second period was just a huge confidence builder for Spencer Lee. And even though he gave up a takedown, he was able to get a quick escape on his own with the release there. Tomasello tried to do it on his feet. Didn't get it done, had plenty of time to go ahead and finish that. 